Hello friends, welcome to techwithus.learn. Friends, an architect prepares a blueprint of the building before actually starting the construction to make the customer and other stakeholder know about how the system is going to look like. You can understand the importance of UML in the same way for software development. Whether you are a software developer, a software tester, analyst, or having a business interest in the success of the product. UML is always there to help you to understand the complex system. UML stands for Unified Modeling Language. This series on UML contains the complete detail of different UML artifacts. We will try to understand their syntax and then we will also draw different UML artifacts for different scenario to make ourselves more comfortable. I have given the link for the entire video tutorial playlist on UML in the description and comment section of this video. I am also working on the complete video tutorial on pointers and C and Python. I request you to subscribe my channel for more future update on such topics. So let's begin our discussion with a very fundamental question. What is UML? UML is a standard which is used across industries. It is a way of interaction between different stakeholders of a system. It supports a broad range of applications. UML is independent of a particular programming language and a development process. UML used for specifying, visualizing, constructing, and documenting the artifacts of a system. The importance of UML is not limited to a particular phase of software development lifecycle. They are used in all phases of SDLC. So it will make sense to spend some time to understand different phases of SDLC. SDLC starts with requirement gathering where an analyst meet the customer and try to understand what exactly he is looking for. For example, let's say customer is from healthcare industry and he is looking for a software product. So friends, here I want to ask you what qualification an analyst should have, whether he should be a software expert or he should be a healthcare domain expert. I hope you guess right. The analyst must be aware of the domain from where the customer is coming from. It's okay that he is not the domain expert, but at least he must be aware of the terminology used by the customer while giving the requirements. My next question will be how the analyst will document this requirement given by the customer so it can be used by other stakeholder of the system in subsequent phases of SDLC. Here obviously he cannot write normal statements and paragraphs. That's the place where UML plays an important role. Similarly, in all other phases of SDLC like design, development, testing and deployment, UML diagrams simplifies the complexity of the system and used as a communication tool among different stakeholder of the system. Now let's try to understand how a software system can be viewed from its different stakeholders perspective. A software system can be viewed from two different aspects, structural and behavioral. A structural view of the software represents the static aspect of the system. For example, how different components are put together to build the entire system. A popular UML artifact which represents the static aspect of the system is the class diagram. Behavioral view represent the dynamic aspect of the system. For example, how different components are interacting with each other. Activity diagram and state chart are the example of UML artifacts which represent the dynamic aspect of the system. This slide will give the bird eye view of some of the UML artifacts 
which are used to represent a structural and behavioral aspect of the system. All of them are explained in detail in the UML tutorial playlist link provided in the description section of this video. A particular UML diagram is more useful during a particular phase of software development life cycle. This can be seen in this design process. A use case diagram is more relevant during requirement gathering. Similarly, class diagrams are more helpful during system design and architecturing. Activity diagram, sequence diagram and state chart plays an important role during system design and development. Component diagram and deployment diagrams are used extensively during deployment and production phase. To draw UML diagrams during the entire session, I am going to use one of the commercially available software called Star UML. The limited and free version of this software is available to download from the link provided. As it is easy to use, I request you to download any of the available UML tool and practice throughout the session to make yourself more comfortable with it. So that's all for introduction to UML. For more future updates like pointers in C and Python video tutorial, you can subscribe my channel techvedas.learn. Thanks for watching friends. Hope you like it.